Hi folks, Lou here. I'm going to talk about something that's important in cooperative games or really in any game where there is some opposition provided by programming, especially in this case, I'm thinking of programming where all you've got is cards. Programming in software is a lot has a lot more variety and is a lot easier to work with in many ways than programming with cards because the cards are just turned over randomly and and there's limits to what you can do. Now, I am, a, as you might gather, retired and have been for quite a while. And sometimes when you're retired, you just do what you enjoy doing. Well, oddly enough, I watch some die cast car races on YouTube. So these are Hot Wheels style cars and the tracks are quite elaborate and the especially the commentators are very amusing so i watch these with some regularity and i have noticed uh partly thanks to the commentary that sometimes things happen where you'd almost swear there was a driver in the car and of course the commentators pretend that there is a driver in the car they pretend that it's real and not just little cars going around a, a track So you'll get really good passes and you say, how, wow, that was just, wow, what a pass. And the commentators say so too, even though we all know it's totally random. There's great control when a car's about to crash, there's fail or failure to control. A car can have one great run and, and great time among uh, mediocre other runs, all the kinds of things, many of the kinds of things that happen with actual humans driving actual cars. Now, this is a key to co-op games. If the co-op is to feel real, sometimes the actions of the non-player opposition must look like they derive from intelligence and direction, not chance. Even though the players know it's chance, just drawing cards, it can influence their view and they can feel more like there's a real opposition and not just a randomness. Now, how do you achieve this? Well, clever use of the cards plus playtesting to see what works and what doesn't. But it's something that you need to do to make the game feel more real. Now, of course, if you want the game to feel abstract, as many people do, many players do and many designers do, then this doesn't matter at all. It's perfectly okay if it's abstract and random, as long as it makes the game work. But I try to pick historical situations for co-op games, or at least what could be historical, because uh, one of them, a couple of them are space war games. And I want that feel that, gee, that's almost like there was somebody playing the other side because I think it makes it more interesting for the players. Maybe not all players, but enough players to make a difference. Thanks for listening.